Just like Jalmon allows you to measure time in your Java applications using the methods start and stop, and also add values that aren't time related with the add method, you can do the same thing in your operating system scripts using Jalmon. To perform operating system monitoring, you need to install Jalmon in a web container and have it accessible to your operating system. And you need to be able to run the monitoring servlet via curl or wget. Let me show you an example. Jalmon now comes with scripts that allow you to call start and stop from within your other scripts. In this case, you can see we're timing how long it takes to do a backup with start and stop. In addition, there's a jadd script that lets you count other numbers, such as in this case, the number of megabytes in a particular backup. The monitoring scripts simply translate the arguments into a curl or wget call. Here you can see the monitoring servlet is passed in the backup size, the units, and the value of 650. Now let me show you some of the scripts and how they work. The Jalmon distribution now comes with a directory called osmon, which contains the following scripts. From these scripts, you can time any other script that you have or any other process that you're running on your operating system. Let's look at a few of the files first. Jalmon readme text has directions on installing the operating system monitoring and how each of the other scripts work. For example, here you can see how jstart works, jstop, etc. One of the first things you'll have to do is to go into http prog.sh. This is how your other scripts know how to find your Jalmon server. It comes defaulted to a local host server. You just change that to whichever address is appropriate in your situation. The JTest script shows you how you can call Jalmon with many examples. Let me make a couple calls just so we can see what this looks like. Here I'm going to start timing something. Successfully made the call. I'm going to wait a period of time and then stop the monitor. Now I've stopped the monitor. Now I'm going to filter and just look for operating system monitors. And you can see our Hello World monitor shows up in the report. Now let's run the test script to generate more data. And now we can look at the data. In addition to the previous Hello World label we created, now we see some other labels that show up due to the test script. You can see, for example, OS my label was called and invoked three times. If we run the script again, as I just did, we'll see that now there's six invocations. And finally, if you want to get data out of Jalmon, you can either call the jdata script or the jgetmon script. I'll use jgetdata here. In this case, it returned the data as XML, but you can also get it back in other formats, in this case CSV. Thank you and happy monitoring.